If that's what $100 can get us, I can't wait to see what $1,000 is gonna get us. A few months ago, I set out to start a brand new faceless YouTube channel. We called it Anti Advice. We knew what we wanted to title the first video, we just didn't know how we were gonna put it together. So we decided to run a little experiment. We made seven videos and set a different budget for each of them. We did this to figure out exactly how budget impacts video quality. We gave each freelancer the same video title and brief and then we just let them do their thing. And today I'm showing you the output. Let's start with a $1 YouTube video and work our way all the way up to a $1,000 YouTube video. Need a bin to prop the laptop up on. Outsourcing a video for $1 was challenging. No person in their right mind would edit a five minute long video for $1. So we had to use AI. NVIDIA was perfect for this. Using their prompt feature, we generated a script from the title. We got ChatGPT to then beef it up a little and then we used their text to video feature to generate a video for us in just a few seconds. And this is what we got out on the other end. Welcome, dear viewers, to the ultimate guide on how to let social media ruin your life. Step one. Always chase the perfect selfie. Imagine standing at the edge of a cliff. Wind in your hair. I'm sorry you had to watch that. Like, would I post this video up online? Absolutely not a hope in hell. But I actually am impressed given that we just gave this software a title and that's it. And within a few seconds, it was able to generate, you know, I wouldn't call it a masterpiece, but it was a video. When NVIDIA heard that we were making this video, they were kind enough to give us a 25% discount code for anybody who wants to sign up to NVIDIA down below, because you actually can use it to make really good videos. I will link that link down below. But the question is, does a video that costs 10 times more give us 10 times the quality output? For the $10 video, we wanted to spice up one thing in particular, editing for obvious reasons. We left the script as it was. However, we used 11 Labs free trial to create a new, more improved voiceover. The final step was to find an editor for our budget. We went to Fiverr, scrolled for a bit, and my eye was caught by this price point. Nine euro and 92 cent gold plan right within our budget. So we made the order and then gave them everything everybody wants in life, an extra $10. And this is what we got back. Welcome dear viewers to the ultimate guide on how to let social media ruin your life. Step one, always chase the perfect selfie. Step two, make your meals cold. Okay, I'm just gonna stop that video right there because it's quite tragic. The script doesn't capture me in at all. We always want to start a YouTube script by telling people that they're going to get what they clicked on for. But that's not all. We want to give them an extra reason to stay. Surprise them, make them laugh, give them a stat that they didn't know. Show them that they're going to get value from this video and if you can incorporate a story, that'd be better. I feel zero emotional connection towards this. Look, it's basic. There's no sound effects, no background music, with loads of repeated clips. There was nothing in this edit that told a story whatsoever, but that's kind of what I would expect from a $10 edit. If we're gonna develop a video that's gonna perform well on YouTube, we need to step up our game. With a budget five times greater for the next video, we agreed it was time to say goodbye to our AI script. Time we upgraded to a living, breathing human. With the $10 budget for a script, we didn't have many people to choose from, but this guy dressed like a pimp did just fine. We paid him his cash dollar and then we got some letters on a page. We had a couple of days left in our 11 Labs free trial, so we decided to use the same software, but change up the voice. We liked the sound of Joseph. We then went to Fiverr, found the freelancer within budget with the most reviews. And this is what we got back. Ah, rise and shine, slaves of capitalism. You have a job to do. The first thing oh. you should absolutely do every morning right after hitting the snooze button on that offensive alarm offensive. is grab your trusty companion, your phone, of course. <laughs> it's time to go through the motions, through the sacred rituals and the porcelain throne. Oh, the joy of constantly scrolling through the highlight reel of humanity. But remember, folks, if you love squandering days, weeks, and years of your life with absolutely nothing to show for it, just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, I feel a little bit uncomfortable after watching that video, to be honest, but the script is definitely a lot better, but he still hasn't mastered the hook. I'm still not really hooked in from the start. I'm gonna be honest, overall, the entire script is very similar to the AI script we originally wrote, so 
wouldn't surprise me if this freelancer just used AI to write our script. You gotta be careful with that these days. I do suspect though that once we do start up in the budget, the script is gonna get much, much better. The edit is definitely a step up. There's a lot more time and effort gone into choosing clips and to strategically put them in the correct place. But they're giving me an Illuminati-esque vibe that I really didn't ask for. The brief said that this video was a satirical take on what not to do and I'm not really laughing here. No more small voice though. Let's level up to $100. We made the decision to keep the script and the voiceover the exact same because we wanted to give the edit a real makeover. Instead of using a freelancer from Fiverr Upwork, we used an agency that we use from time to time for our other faces channels. This video cost us $100 in total. Ah, rise and shine slaves of capitalism you have a job to do, the first thing Thanks. you should absolutely do every morning right after hitting the snooze button on that offensive alarm is grab your trusty companion, yeah, like your that. phone of course. Time to go through the motions, through the sacred rituals at the porcelain throne, the dining table, <laughs> that delightful stroll to your workplace and just before you tuck in for the night. But hey, there are over a million new recruits joining okay. this prestigious club daily. At least you're part of a club. Okay, we're gonna stop it there. For $90, I am really, really pleasantly surprised by that edit. Okay, so this is where we're really gonna move on to the big leagues here and we're gonna go with the video budget of $250. We wanted to level things up on all aspects. We increased our script budget by five times. I expected a big step up here. Instead of using Fiverr or Upwork, we knew a guy locally who could write us a script for $50. No longer were we confined by AI voiceovers. We were now upgrading to a real person. And with this newfound sense of quality, we wanted to incorporate a documentary feeling to this video. So we splashed out on an impersonator to do just that. The edit was where we wanted the biggest change of direction. We upped our budget by 50%. And with this budget, we were more likely to get the animated style we had originally wanted. We decided to use use an editor we've worked with in the past called Brett. He agreed to take on the project and we were off in a hack. Let's see how that all came together. $250, here we come. This is Bob and Bob has a pretty great life. Great friends, a good job and hobbies aplenty. And like all of us, Bob is trying to live his best life, experiencing meaningful moments and living life to the fullest. Bob's never been a big fan of social media, the artificiality, the virtue signalling, the time wasting. But on one fateful day, Bob sees his crush on Instagram and decides that joining might be a good way to get her attention. Why not jump on the social media bandwagon, he thinks. He downloads all the big social media names. Instagram, TikTok, even Be Real, just to make sure he's getting the full social media experience. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Five and a half hours per day, according to a 2022 study. I'm gonna pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. This is huge. It's massive. It's a huge step up in every single compartment. The voiceover is perfect. It does such a good job at conveying the sarcasm that we need. I'm really, really happy that we paid for that. I love the script and how it centers the entire concept around this character called Bob. That's the kind of emotional investment that I was talking about earlier. The editing has so much personality. I mean, it's bloody hilarious. Like, watch this. He's turned his attention to the content he's consuming. <laughs> It's critically important. Like, look at the little things, like the blood on the car after him hitting the cat because he was on social media while driving. Very, very clever. Getting my creator hat on as well here. I really like this style of edit because it's really flexible. Because if we generate pure animation videos, it's going to take a lot of time and effort to edit a video if we want something changed. Whereas with this stop motion stuff, it's just about changing a picture. It's much cheaper and much quicker. If you were to tell me that this was the $1,000 video, I actually would have believed it. But it's not. So we have two more to go. Uh, let's move on to the $500 budget. In this case, we decided to increase our scripting budget to $150. We kept the voiceover budget the same, but said we'd experiment with a new voiceover artist. With the edit, we decided we were finally ready to leave puberty and enter manhood. We doubled the budget and found somebody on our work to go and do the job for us. This is where I expect to see the biggest level up in terms of production. Let's see how it goes. Are you tired of the fulfilling life you've been living? 
Are you sick of making genuine connections and experiencing meaningful real-life moments? <sighs> well, look no further, because the answer to ruining your life is not only in this video, it's right at your fingertips. Social Media the first step in allowing social media to ruin your life is to maximize your screen time. In fact, social media use activates the same reward centers in the brain as drugs and other addictive substances. So the more you use it, the more addicted you get. How amazing is that? Use social media late at night. As Aristotle famously said, it is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. Okay, it's definitely different. Here's what I like about it. The script is very good. It's very to the point. The voiceover is good. It doesn't really hit the sarcasm element of it though. The animation is quite well done. I really like how they mix the animation with the real world. It also makes it quicker to edit. But for me, it's quite depressing. <laughs> like. It doesn't make me feel good. And it's completely the opposite tone that we wanted to convey, which we specified in the brief. And whose fault is that? I actually think it's mainly the editor's fault. I think the script is quite funny. I think the voiceover with a little bit of work could be funny, but the edit itself with the music, with the sound effects, with the colors used, it's not very happy. <laughs> so, turns out you can spend $500 and completely missed the brief. Okay, now we're on to the $1,000 budget. This is the moment we've all been waiting for, so I'm gonna get straight to it. We kept the script the same, we kept the voiceover budget the same, but we did use a different voiceover artist. The extra money was just splashed out on the edit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the $1,000 video. Are you tired of the fulfilling life you've been living? Are you sick of making genuine connections and experiencing meaningful real life moments? Well, look no further because the answer to ruining your life is not only in this video, it's right at your fingertips. Social media. The first step in allowing social media to ruin your life is to maximize your screen time. In fact, if you're not spending at least 5 hours 30 minutes on social media every day like the average person under the age of 34 did in 2022, then you really need to step your game up. But what if you start getting those pesky notifications from your phone telling you to take a break and that- This is very high quality. What I like in particular here is that it's a very unique cartoon style that's been developed and they've included lots of little details. When he's watching TV the first time, he has friends on in the background, which is a really nice little touch. And it's all those little things that add up to a lot. Considering in the search of this $1,000 video, we were often quoted $1,000 per minute. This is a pretty good result. Is it perfect? No, but that's not what we need here to answer the question. Does price guarantee quality when it comes to a YouTube video? It definitely does, but there's a but. There does come a point where as you increase your budget, the delta in quality does reduce and get smaller. Meaning that once you hit a certain point, your returns for every euro or dollar you spend get less and less. And personally, if I were to do this experiment again, I forgot to take my AirPods out, here's the percentage split that I would spend on a video. Now, some of you might be asking, which style do we end up using for our faces YouTube channel? Why don't you go see for yourself? I said the name of the channel at the start. That's all from me. We'll see you in the next one. Stay hydrated.